anything. Someone's just come in the room. Hello? Oh, you going? Granddaughter's going. Later. Yeah, what? Oh, you want the Freddy? She wants Freddy. Go on then. <laughs> um. <laughs> what are you doing? She can't get it. Down you gonna take it with you? No, we won't take it with us. All right, Freddy's been kidnapped. Everyone, <laughs> this is you have proof. <laughs> Freddy's been napped. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> She's been nabbed. Freddie's been nabbed. So we know who it was. Oh my god. Oh, is that is that you, Brent? Or is it an angel? Oh my god, oh. are you alright? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. What happened? I was, I was all all went dark and then I was I was face down on the floor and then this angel came and saved me. Anyway, I'm glad you're alright, mate. Um, Where's the baby? What baby? The baby. What baby? What do you want about? There is no baby. There's no babies around here apart from my kidnapper. That was a baby. It's alright. He's over oh, there. Oh, you mean him? Yes, your baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so we've got a name for it now. What's that in? Uh, thanks to our viewers on oh, YouTube. Yeah. They have voted. And this is a really weird thing, and this wasn't intentional. Um, they voted to call him Mercury. Mercury? Mercury. Um, and it is actually the anniversary of Freddie Mercury's death. He died in 1991 on this date. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, you're yeah. called Freddie, and he's called Mercury. So, how about that? Mm hmm. Quite yeah. a fitting, don't you think? Huh. I'll see, yeah. Oh, yeah, Freddie Mercury. Okay, so now that's been decided, let's get on with the video. What have you been doing then? Uh, we've been doing this, mate. As chosen by the viewers, this is the cigar box that we went for. Uh, the neck in question was one that I did sell, and it got returned because uh, Hermes damaged it, uh, dropped it, or something heavy on it. Uh, two of the uh, fret inlays were bashed in on the 12th fret, and there's a nice crack down the fretboard. So I f went ahead and fixed the uh, inlays with some super glue and some uh, baking powder, and then filed those down and sanded the fretboard out very lightly and it came out really good. I was really, 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 really happy with it. Um, this is a method that lots of people use to uh, fix dot inlays that are sunken in or broken or missing or fallen out, whatever. I don't know what Hermes did to it, but it looks like something heavy was uh, either dropped on it or placed on it or whatever. Thank you very much, Hermes. You are amazing. Um, so um, this is the neck I'm going to be using because I can't resell it now because because of that, and I wouldn't want to, to be honest. Um, but as far as I can tell, it's uh, straight and everything. So there you go. There's it finished, oiled up, and those dot inlays fixed. Um, and the crack, you can just about see it. I, I wedged some glue in there and sanded down and oiled it. And it, I think it's going to be okay. Well, it'll be okay for this anyway. Um, I'm sure. Um, so that was that repair, uh, which was relatively easy to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fix the neck uh, to the cigar box body, and we're going to do the scale length and the bridge, uh, it put that into position as well. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, so first of all, you just uh, find the center of the box, decide which way around you want it, mark out where the neck's going to go. I always do it so the neck um, is flush to the body so you can get right up to the uh, top frets and then I uh, put a piece of wood through the center which takes the weight so mark in the center and that's uh, the depth of the neck uh, like that and here's the piece of wood which is a 3x2 CLS which I got from home base for three pound for a huge three meter length of it so it could do a few guitars mark the center of that uh, mark it up or line it up with the mark you've made on the box, draw around it, and then that's what you're going to be cutting out. Um, very easy to do. I use like a Dremel tool kind of thing. Works really well with these cigar boxes because uh, they're not very thick wood, so it's enough to uh, 
to get through that and do it uh, quite neatly. It's quite accurate. Uh, just take my time, you know. This this needs to be as straight and as centred as possible. Um, otherwise, it can make everything go a bit scooby later on. So there's our piece cut to length. Uh, so it's just long enough uh, to just go past the holes w uh, on the back of the neck, which which screws the neck on, if you if you see what I mean. Uh, it's a little bit tight, so I just went ahead and uh, just tidied it up with the file, with a nice wood file, um, until it was the right size. And there's the piece of wood straight through there, so it protrudes just enough for the neck to bolt onto that, which gives it a really, really strong fix. Um, make sure it's all nice and straight as possible, and then drill a hole through the back there, and uh, a nice big heavy duty long uh, wood screw goes into there to hold that in place and you can hide that with the strap button or whatever later on if you want to but yeah, you know, I think it's uh, aesthetically pleasing having the screws visible on these kind of guitars anyway um, because of the kind of feel they are um, so this is quite easy to do there so again just making sure everything is as straight as possible so that you don't have any problems when you come to setting up the guitar and the neck angles and everything else. Nice big wood screw in there to hold that in and that creates a really really strong um, fixing. <coughs> so once that's done you can have a good look. There we go. It's straight as it as straight as, as it can be. You can um, sort of adjust these later on. Once you've got everything on you can undo the screws and wiggle it about a bit and uh, get them as, you know into the position that it needs to be, but if, you know at the moment it's all going really well. The, the lid slides on nice, and there we go. That is our guitar body ready for the neck to go on. Very cool. Here comes the neck, which is lining up, and it fits perfectly. Lovely. Uh, so now all I've got to do is mark where the holes are in the back of the neck. So I just line it up like that, just do it by eye and um, then mark the four holes using the uh, the neck plate there as a template and then just simply drill through and then I use the same uh, wood screws that I used to uh, screw the, uh, the piece of wood in there uh, to hold the neck on and it's a very very strong fixing uh, which is what you want so, yep, just drill on through, take your time, that's the key to this, just taking your time. And there you go, the neck is on, all in position as I want it. Not bad, it's very, very strong, there's no movement in that whatsoever. Now, uh, the bridge I'm using is an old tremolo, so all I'm going to do is take the uh, block off and work out my scale length. Um, it is very close because it's a small cigar box, but I just measure from the nut to the center of the 12th fret and then and then whatever measurement that is it is from the center of the 12th fret to the body is the scale length and that is where the saddles are going to sit um, obviously there's a little bit of leeway because you can move the saddles backwards and forwards for intonation but you want it as close as you can I think this was a 25.5 inch scale length in total um, and that line I've marked there is not where the saddles go, but where I'm going to screw the base in. The dot to the right of that is where the saddles sit. Um, and I've just put one screw in for now, just one, and I'm just checking. And I, I check several times when I do these measurements. From the center of the 12th fret to where the saddle sits is the same as from the nut to the center of the 12th fret. Then using a string, I'm just going to line it up so it's as straight as I can possibly get it. Um, and then I just put one screw in to hold that in for now. Um, I'll do the rest once once I've got the pickups in and everything. Um, then I will line it up properly and screw it down properly. So now the question is, where am I going to put the pickup? I've got a humbucker. I've got single coils. I've got two humbuckers, or I could do three single coils. Or I could do one single coil. Um, put it in the comments what you think I should do. I was thinking maybe a humbucker at the bridge, single coil at the neck, uh, not too hard, too sure really, whatever, you let me know. 
Okay, so that's where we are with the cigar box at the moment. Um, do let me know what you think uh, I should do with the pickup configuration. I'll be really interested to hear what you think on that, uh, including switches and uh, master volumes, maybe two volumes or you know, tones, whatever. Whatever you think, um, I'll see what I can do with it. Uh, I look forward to getting this one done. But that, so far, that is how I attach the neck and get the scale length and everything. If it's uh, of any help to you, then please do like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, follow me on Twitch, because I do like four really long streams on there a week now. Uh, six hours to eight hour streams. Um, it's a lot of fun. And uh, once I've got this finished, I will be using it in the stream as well, which will be fun. Um, join our Discord too. It's growing and growing and growing. There's lots of really cool people on there with lots of really interesting ideas and lots of cool information and stuff that they're, they're a lovely bunch i suggest you come over there as well right so there's not much more left to say except peace till next time freddy cue the jingle the name's mercury and that's my job now you dig like and comment and get involved if you dig my vibe then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my youtube show Next time.